Jean Bruchet, today we're going to do a quick segment on the mirrors that I have on my back walls. Now, people have noticed these in my other videos, asked me questions about them, so I thought today we'd take a closer look. I'll start off with the concave mirror. As you can see, it goes in, which is also demonstrated by the ball here. Now, both the concave and convex mirrors were purchased from a science supply catalog, but they just came as plain mirrors. They didn't have any mounting frames and I made the wood pieces just to make it a little bit more secure. The plywood backing has eight supports added to it which have grooves cut in that hold the mirror in place. Now I can lay it flat, I can put it on an angle on a stand, or I can hang it from the wall. As you can see it inverts the image and as I move closer I'm getting to about the focal point. Here it gets all blurry. Now if I put something inside that focal point, the image becomes upright again and also enlarged, while everything outside the focal point is upside down. It's presenting the image as a flat mirror would, only it's magnifying it. Now this mirror will give us a real image. Let's see if we can project that window onto a piece of paper. Now if we aim the concave mirror directly at that window and I bring a piece of paper to the focal point, we should be able to see that image. And it's right around there. Now it is inverted, but that is a real image that's projected by this mirror. Now since this is a concave mirror, it has a focal point and I can focus the sun's rays on a piece of paper and if we have it in the right spot, hopefully we should be able to get it to burn. And there we go. If I get it in the right position, it only takes a few seconds. Here's the convex mirror. It's also mounted on a piece of plywood. It has small pieces of plastic which are used for mounting mirrors. Now when I look at this one, it has a very large field of view. I remain upright, but smaller. Let's get closer here. And we can take a look around my room by looking at the mirror at different angles. Here's a side view of it. Now I think this is my favorite of the three. I call this my multi-mirror. It's actually made of 19 mirrored balls which are mounted in a frame. And as I look at it, I can see myself at all the 19 surfaces. Here's another view. Now this was actually made with Christmas tree balls and I've kept a couple extra just because once in a while it gets broken and I have to replace them. It's a wooden frame. It has styrofoam on the back. The inside is painted black and they're glued in place. 